The US and its partners allow Ukraine to launch long-range strikes against Russia. The Kremlin may use more powerful countermeasures. The New York Times writes, citing an assessment by US intelligence. In particular, US intelligence agencies believe that Russia could likely respond with greater force against the US and its allies, possibly with deadly attacks. Intelligence officials also downplay the impact that long-range missiles will have on the course of the war since the Ukrainian military currently has a limited number of weapons, so it is unclear how much longer Western allies will be able to support the country in the war. At the same time, American officials who spoke on condition of anonymity told the New York Times that it is not yet clear what decision US President Joe Biden will make on this issue. In addition, American intelligence officers described possible actions of the Russian Federation in the event of permission to strike Ukraine at long distances with American and European-made missiles on its territory. In particular, Russia may increase the number of arson attacks and sabotage at facilities in Europe and carry out potentially deadly attacks on American and European missile bases. In turn, Intelligence believes that even if such permission is granted, the Russians after the first strikes will most likely move ammunition depots, command posts, combat helicopters and other important objects beyond the reach of missiles. The Times reported that Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky will return from the United States without achieving the lifting of a ban on strikes deep into Russia with Western weapons. The newspaper pointed out that during a meeting with US President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris, the Ukrainian leader personally asked to lift restrictions on strikes with British Storm Shadow and American ATA CMS missiles on Russia. However, no shift in Washington's stance on the use of long-range missiles was announced, the newspaper said. Instead, according to The Times, Democratic presidential candidate Harris, standing next to Zelensky, began talking about her political rival in the upcoming election, Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump. The Ukrainian effort comes as NATO remains divided on aspects of its approach to the war with Russia, particularly on the use of long-range weapons that could escalate the conflict. Ukraine is already using long-range missiles, fighter aircraft and other high-grade weaponry provided by its Western allies to hit Russian targets in Crimea and other occupied areas inside Ukraine. Russian Colonel Alexei Kolomaitsev has been killed in Moscow region, Ukrainian media reported on Saturday. The colonel was killed on the night of September 27. Alexei Kolomaitsev headed the 924th State Center for Unmanned Aviation of the Russian Ministry of Defense. He trained Russian specialists in the use of UAVs, including operators and maintenance personnel of the Shahid Kamikaze attack drones. Ukrainian intelligence service has claimed responsibility for the assassination of the Russian colonel. Ukrainian media quoted unnamed sources within the intelligence service as saying that the killing of high-ranking Russian military official was the result of the joint operation carried out by local resistance movement and the main directorate of intelligence of Ukraine. The resistance movement is scaling up, expanding its activities throughout Russia and beyond, as we warned earlier. Every Russian war criminal, everyone involved in aggression against Ukraine is our target, regardless of position, age, gender and location. 
We will destroy everyone who has the blood of Ukrainians on their hands until the Russian regime stops the war and answers for all its crimes, the sources within Ukrainian intelligence said. The media reports did not specify the details of the operation. It should be noted that last week, Ukrainian armed forces in Russia's Kursk region eliminated the commander of the Airborne Assault Regiment of the Russian Airborne Forces, Lt. Col. Alexander Kurin with the call sign, Skipper. The liquidation of Kurin is a great loss for the airborne forces, Ukrainian media reported.